this is my friend Sarah. Hello. And today we're going to be leading you through a total body workout. Sarah yes. will be leading us. I'll be modifying so you can watch me if you need to modify. Have any injuries, definitely talk to a doctor before changing any fitness. It's going to be total body exercises. So some of the moves are going to be compound, meaning you're going to involve multiple muscle groups at once, which is very effective to increase your calorie burn because you're working harder. So that's awesome. And then followed by a plyometric exercise. So we're going to be adding some height, some intensity to it, you know, getting a little more power into it. And then we're going to be doing a balancing exercise. So it's going to challenge all your little stabilizer muscles within your major muscle groups. So first we have three lower body exercises and then three upper body and core exercises. And then Gina is going to be giving us an abs express kind of workout. All right, so let's get started. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing first, like I was saying, we're gonna be doing lower body. I'm gonna be turning and facing so you can see my profile. Gina will be facing you so you can see how it looks from both angles and see your proper alignment and all that stuff. So the first one we're going to be doing is going to be a lunge, a backwards lunge with an oblique twist. Each exercise we are going to be doing 12 times, but we recommend you to do it anywhere from 10 to 15 times. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Hands come right behind the head, leading with your right foot. Go back into a lunge, drop the back knee down, and twist your inner elbow to the inner thigh. Come on up and switch sides. So twist, and that's one. Really keeping your core engaged and using your obliques to twist your chest down towards that knee. Woo. Trying to keep your balance. <laughs> I know, on the rocks. Yeah. <laughs> Exhale when you lunge and twist. Inhale when you come back to center. <laughs> All right. One more on each side. So here's one and two. Beautiful. All right, next one, going right into it. Plyometrics. So we're doing the jumping split lunge. What we're doing, lunging just like we did before. Drop down, come up, jump and switch. Up and switch. Gina's modifying it. So if you have any knee issues, concerns, injuries, you just don't want to go this high, do what Gina's doing. Step and tap. Land softly on your toes. Last four, three, two, and one. Ooh, I felt that one. <laughs> okay, balancing. So, backwards lunge with the right foot. Lunge back, come up. Hinge, hip lift, then drive that knee forward and hold. Place it back, lunge, hip lift, straight spine, tight core, knee up to your chest. Lunge, balance, draw it in, <laughs> yeah, that's the hard part. <laughs> Down, hold, drive it up. right over your ankle when you lunge. Drop it in. Down. Straight spine, so no hinging here. And drive up. Two more. And one. Hold. Switch. You'll feel that in that glute stabilizing you. Alright, other side. Let's go. Lunge. If you don't even want to do that knee drive in the front, you can just tap and then back down, lift, tap, or commit to it and go all the way. So whatever your level is, whatever you're comfortable with, 
fitness is a journey. So if you don't get it perfect right away, don't be discouraged, keep going. It's everyone has their own path. Everyone's journey is different. And make so. your friends too, find things that you enjoy. Yeah, work out with a friend, yeah. work out in nature, beautiful Bye. mountains. <laughs> One more. Woo, <sighs> shake that out. All right, so your lower body is done for now. And now we're going up to upper body and core. So we're gonna come on down to a plank. If you want to modify it, again, watch Gina. She'll be on her knees. I'll show from the side. Yeah. So making sure she has one long straight line from the crown of her head to her tailbone and isn't like sinking her hips down or lifting her up. So she has, yeah, it's not plank. So she has perfect position now. If you have wrist concerns, you can come onto your forearm or you can come onto a fist, either one. So take your pick. Start wherever you're comfortable with and feel free to play around. It doesn't, you're not stuck somewhere once you go through it. Anyway. So, coming on down. First thing that we're going to be doing is compound exercise. We're doing a push up. So, push up, elbows wide, and open it to a side plank. Look at that top hand, hold, and back down. Push up. Stay. They don't come past your shoulders. Drop your chest towards the floor, but don't fall onto the floor. introduce you so you're driving your right knee in towards your chest holding a plank position shoulders right over your wrist place it back and switch left knee in down and switch we're gonna be doing it as fast as you can 12 on each side ready starting with the right foot and let's go 12 left six three two one hold the plank we're balancing. So beginning, lift your right leg up, hold, tap down, switch. Left leg up, hold, tap and switch. If you wanna make it harder, lift the opposite arm up as well and switch, lift, switch. Gina is modifying it into a bird dog. So if you wanna ah, make it simpler, <laughs> go ahead and do what she's doing. You wanna make it harder. <laughs> You can follow me. <laughs> I assure you, you'll feel it. <laughs> so one more each side. Last one. <sighs> All right. Come on up and we are done with that for now. If you want, you can do it how many times? Um, two, up to two more times, so three times total. And we'll also yeah. do an ab, short ab burner right now, so grab a mat. Let's get some ab work. Yeah. Grab a mat, or in my case, I have a pair of athletic pants. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and lie all the way down. 
Your feet are flat on the floor and you're just gonna cross your thumbs, reach up towards the ceiling, bring your shoulders off the floor, you exhale, inhale to come down. Exhale up, down. So each time you come up, try to come up a little higher than last time and really compress that area right below your belly button in towards your spine. So keep everything pulled in nice and tight. Four more to go. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and let your knees fall open. You're going to reach your arms up over your head. You're going to exhale. Come up off the floor as high as you can. It's okay to use a little bit of momentum for this one, but really try to use your core strength. Inhale, come all the way down. Exhale, off the floor. So even if you are using some momentum, try to keep it nice and controlled. And keep everything pulled in. Exhale all the way up. Great job, six more to go. Breathe. Last three. Two. And last one. Go ahead and come all the way up. So for this one, you're gonna have your fingertips pointing towards your feet. Lean back just a tiny bit. You're going to bend your elbows. Right knee comes into your chest. Exhale, bring it out. You're gonna lift it straight out. to modify or come onto your forearms like Sarah has but you want to be a straight line from your head all the way to your ankles and push back through your heels so take a couple of nice deep breaths right here squeeze everything and then slide your body forward two inches back two inches forward and back so you can move as much or as little as you would like to and if you want a challenge you can lift one leg off the floor too all right, so go ahead and stop in your plank. We're gonna drop one hip towards the floor. Lift and squeeze, let's do the other side. Lift, squeeze. Down and up. So this is your finish line right here, finish strong. Do two more each side. Last one. Hold it, squeeze everything. Five, four, three, two, and one. Thank you. You can repeat it up to two more times for three times total. And remember to just complement it with cardio of choice and stretching, of course. Definitely stretch afterwards. Yep. Great job. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.